I'd like to start off talking about advice itself because I have listened to a lot of um, talker interviews, um, spoken to a lot of people and one thing I've learnt is the advice you get from toppers, they are not for everyone. It, it doesn't mean you're not capable or like you're not that level but different things work for different people. I'd like to give a small example about um, um, taking notes, making charts, all those sort of things. I used to get a lot of that advice, make a tabular column, package, tab, arcade, keep that and keep the chapters as the rows, keep a matrix, tick it, once you finish this, maintain all sorts of log, logs of all the things you do. I, I did very little of that or um, you can say even uh, none of that and I didn't take too much of short notes because honestly that was not my style of learning and improving and I'm not saying don't do that because do try to do that, check if it works so you check different sort of strategies, hear a lot of different advice from different people and try to implement that and there will be only certain things which work for you and there will be certain things which don't work for you. Figure out what works for you, experiment a lot. Uh, another thing I'd like to talk about is the peer group because um, you have no idea how much that helps because um, the people sitting next to me here and the people who are not here, um, they were amazing and they were all good in different different things. Um, so have that um, sort of competition with them, try to um, score better than them, try to um, score so much more than them that they get irritated and they get better, you know. Um, compete to that extent because they will get better and then you will get irritated why are they scoring so much and you will improve and you know it's a, it's a cycle and it's a cycle of improvement. So um, even with that sort of competition, do interact with them, don't keep any notes and hide them and um, don't do all those sorts of things either. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to give you guys ideas or anything. Um, so do share things, if you have any good method please share it, talk to your friends a lot. 90% um, of my doubts are clear with my friends and not uh, with my faculty because I like interacting with them and the fact that they are prepared and they have the exact same goals as me that um, really helped and we all pushed each other forward. So do interact with your friends like that, don't be shy, um, don't be afraid to ask doubts however silly it is. And Please ask them for even simple advice on how to stay motivated, how do you have time to do this, what books you do, ask those sort of things. Uh, a third thing I'd like to talk about is um, the whole accuracy versus speed thing and easy questions versus tough questions, all those sorts of things. And um, first um, I'd like to give a quote from uh, PCSR himself. Um, he he said that, um, you know, J. Advance is not going to give you a special medal for solving the most difficult question. It's not um, going to be advantageous for you to solve the most difficult questions in the paper. It, it only um, gives you a reward if you solve the most number of questions accurately. Um, don't focus too much on... So don't um, give too much hype for the most difficult questions. Um, you know, if you can do the simple questions very quickly, like in two minutes or three minutes, with more than 90% accuracy, it will help you more than um, being good in the difficult questions. Because um, that was what happened for me, honestly. Again, as I said in my first point, it doesn't work for everyone, but. I, for me, it helped me to focus on accuracy and solving less number of questions but getting almost all of them correct. So uh, make sure you can first solve easy to moderate questions very quickly and with very good accuracy. Work for that machine like accuracy, you know, you, you need a huge sort of fire and um, a lot of motivation and you know, you, you should not get um, distracted, start thinking about a different question when you are on another question. Just focus on the question at hand, read it quickly, do not miss any detail. Um, think about the steps needed to solve it, um, writing quickly, whether it's a long method or a short method you have thought of, but get to the solution, mark it and make sure it's correct. 
that will help you more than you know coming up with um, some weird out of the blue method for a difficult question and getting that correct but no one got it correct. You, you don't need to get those sort of questions correct even for a single digit run, double digit run or whatever you aim for. Just um, get the questions that you know how to do comfortably. Not even everything you know how to do, the ones you can do comfortably in practice. Get those sort of questions correct in exam and you will definitely uh, reach more than your goal. Yeah, that's all for me.